guys, it's Lynn Van Nui, and I thought I would vlog a little bit because I haven't vlogged in a while. And I'm sitting on my floor because, as some of you may know, I vlog on my phone and my phone is, like, dead, so I'm charging it. And Tipsy's coming to say hi. She's like, Mommy, what you doing? She's so cute. Look at it, cutie. Hey. Eh? So yeah, whoa, my eyes look really blue at this angle. I love it. I love it a lot. So yeah, basically, um, I haven't vlogged in a little while and I just thought I would because my vlogs seem to get the most amount of views. Oh, and speaking of views, I also wanted to quickly mention that I reached my subscriber goal and then some. So I'm super, super excited. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys like me. <laughs> oh my gosh. She looks absolutely ridiculous when she does that. So yeah, I posted the other day about wanting to reach 100 subscribers. And I woke up on Thursday, Thursday night. <laughs> I was having a nap when I came home from work. It looks like my eyelashes are sticking up, but I promise you they're not. I don't know why they're sitting like that. But anyway, I woke up from a nap on Thursday night and I had 101 subscribers and I was so happy. So thank you guys. And then this morning I checked while I was at work and I had 104. Thank you so, so much for subscribing to my channel and making my dreams come true. Um, I know like 100 is a really, really small number of subscribers, but I'm so like really, really happy. That's like a lot to me. So, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. And thank you so, so much for subscribing to me, watching my videos, liking my videos, sometimes commenting on my videos, not very often, but thank you. There's something stuck to the window and she thinks it's like a bug, but it's not. She's like on a mission to go get it. Did not anything up there. Um, I'm gonna change positions. And my hair is an absolute mess, so sorry about that. Help me, I'm trapped. No, just kidding. Just this bed frame. Boobs for views. So yeah, I just finished filming Sunday's story time video and it's a really, really short one, but I hope you guys still like it anyway. And I'm sorry that my hair is an absolute mess. Like I meant to have a shower last night and I had a nap and Will went out while I was napping and I was like relying on him to wake me up, but he was gone for a really, really long time. And I woke up at like 10 or 10 30 and then I was just like there's no way I'm having a shower right now so this is my hair <laughs> no, I'm gonna switch yet again I cannot figure my life out no siree Bob that's good I'm sitting in my office chair like fully reclined with my feet up on the window it's comfy it's nice sorry for this you guys know I'm an absolute mess and there's my tripod I just finished filming and my messy ass bed nothing else has really been new in my life I'm just kind of not doing much of anything I'm honestly working all the time now I only get Sundays off but I mean I only work half days on Fridays and Saturdays so I work <sighs> my schedule is like honestly all over the place like it's a set schedule but my days are like every other so Mondays I work from 12 to 6 seven ish Tuesdays I work nine to five ish then Wednesdays I work one to seven ish and Thursdays nine to five ish again and then Fridays nine to about one or two and then Saturdays from 8 30 till two and then I get Sunday off yay um and the reason is because the owner of the clinic that I work at owns two well he actually owns three clinics but two of them are like joined like they share the same like physiotherapists and stuff so there was a girl working at the one location and she quit pretty suddenly without I mean she gave her two weeks notice but that's not enough notice to hire someone in her place so I've been working at the Kitchener clinic as well as the regular clinic that I work at which is in Cambridge so I've been working at both clinics until well we just recently hired a new girl and I'm assuming she'll go to the Kitchener clinic so until she's fully trained and ready to go there I'm working at both 
locations. So I only get Sundays off right now and it kind of sucks. Um, well, I am supposed to get every other Saturday off, but not recently because my coworker needed some Saturdays off to do like some courses and stuff. So I'm covering her Saturdays and then soon I'll be going back to every other Saturday. So then I'll get every Sunday off and every other Saturday off. And it's just like really tiring because like I love my job. I do, but at the same time, like I have to commute 40 minutes to Cambridge and then I also have to commute like an hour to Kitchener when I have to work in Kitchener. So it's a lot of driving. It's a lot of time on the road. And I don't really mind because I, I love driving a lot, but it's like a lot of wear and tear on my car and it's a lot of gas. Um, Like this morning, I was supposed to be there for nine and I didn't get there till 9.30 on the dot because I was stuck in traffic. On a road that should have taken one minute, I was stuck on it for like almost half an hour. I was late to work this morning. Then I finished work and I went to the reservation to get some more smokes because I have terrible habits. And also, we just booked holidays for the summer. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to have my mom come over and take care of Tipsy over here, this little fluff McGuff, because we are going to Long Point for a week, which is just a little bit south of where I live now. It's like probably like an hour drive south and it's like this really really nice beach and we are renting a cottage for a week. And it's a two bedroom cottage. It's not quite on the beach, but it's only like a block from the beach. It's got like an outdoor shower so we can shower before we go back in the house so we're not like covered in sand and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have friends come down for some days and stuff and like party with us and hang out and help split the cost a little bit because the cost is a little bit steep, but we figured like renting a cottage in Ontario where we live would be like way cheaper than flying out of country and I have to get a passport because I don't have a passport and no cat, that is not a toy. She's trying to play with the charger. Yeah, so I don't have a passport so I would have had to get a passport which is like, I don't know, close to $300. Plus then like the flight, hotel, like all that stuff like adds up really fast, right? So we just figured we'd book a cottage for a week and just have like a staycation, but it's still kind of a vacation because we'll not be home. We'll be like at the beach. So it was either we were gonna go to Long Point or we were gonna go up north, like up near, I can't remember the exact place. Oh, Nipissing. We were gonna go to Nipissing for a week or we were gonna go to Long Point. And I said, I haven't been to Long Point like, I've been to Long Point, I think, like, two or three years ago I was at Long Point. But, um, I haven't actually stayed in Long Point since I was in high school. Because I used to go to Long Point all the time with a, a friend that I had in high school. We would, like, her family would rent a cottage for a week and we would go stay in Long Point for a week. And I had, like, summer flings. It was, like, so nice. So, yeah, I hadn't been to Long Point in a really long time and I really, really love it there. Like, the water is, like, so nice and blue and, like, it's just, like such a pretty little place to be. Apparently the undertoes are really, really bad. I don't know. I've never had a problem with undertoes. My co my coworker was asking where I was going to go for my holidays and I said, oh, we're just going to go to Long Point. And she's like, oh, I don't like Long Point. We had, every time I've gone, we've had like problems with undertoes. And I've been to Long Point like so many times like throughout my life and I've never really remembered having an issue with undertoes. I've gone to like Port Burwell with a friend a few times and I've heard the undertoes there are like really really bad. But I never experienced undertoes there either so I don't know. I probably won't go like too far into the water just because I need to plug my nose to go underwater because I'm a little bitch and I have a nose ring now so I can't really plug my nose and I'd be really really afraid to lose it in the lake. I'll probably get some some more nose rings just so that in case I lose this one or something then it's not it won't be like a huge deal. Yeah. Because I'm like really afraid that I would like lose my nose ring in the lake and then it would close over and then I would have to go get it pierced for a fifth fucking time. I don't think I would do it if I had to go get it done for a fifth time. I just... That's too much. Even four is too much. I like literally almost like passed out and threw up everywhere when I was getting this done because I can't- For some reason I just can't tolerate piercings very well. Tattoos, I can handle no problem. Like they don't even phase me, but piercings is like a whole other thing thing. I just realized I've been blabbering at you guys about basically nothing. I just wanted to vlog more. You guys seem to really, really enjoy my vlogs and I don't know why because they're like less, way less impressive than my actual videos or at least I think so. Maybe it's just like the realness of a vlog. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick vlog which didn't turn out to be a quick vlog. It ended up me blabbering about 
shit. But initially, I just wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel and um, helping me reach my goal of 100, which has now been surpassed. So thank you guys so, so much. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the links to all my social media pages down in the description box below. And if you haven't hit subscribe yet, hit subscribe. Love you guys. Until next time, keep shining. Bye.